Hey guys, Drew back here for Z Code System. Today we're talking about the English Premier League, which will be kicking off this weekend on October 29th and 30th with a set of fantastic fixtures that are coming to you as we get near the upcoming FIFA World Cup break, which will be taking place from mid-November to the end of December. So just a few more weekends of action going on in the Premier League before that big six-week or so break takes place in the league. And you can see there we've got the Z Code System blog up and we've got our latest picks for NFL Week 8. So if you're an NFL better as well, go over and have a read of that and also check out the video here on the YouTube channel. You can find that on our, uh, our main page or channel page as well as our other videos. And uh, you can uh, watch about the, the latest NBA picks as well as the video I brought to you yesterday which is previewing the upcoming boxing match between Jake Paul and Anderson Silva, which will be taking place on Saturday night, the 29th. And of course, like I say, you can watch those videos as well as go over and read the blogs on our site. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about the Premier League games. We're going to talk about three games in particular coming up this weekend. Uh, if you are a subscriber to Z Code System, you can go over to the Use the Soccer Buddy tool because that's what I'm going to be using here in this video. Uh, as well as you get a little bit of a bonus by watching this video, you get to see all of the picks made by the Soccer Buddy tool. And I'm going to talk you through, like I said, three games coming up this weekend, three of the bigger games, probably about three or four uh, really big games, uh, if depending on the way that you look at uh, the Premier League this weekend. Uh, so we're going to talk about those. Uh, but before we do that, let's take a look at the latest odds on the outright odds to win the Premier League this season. Okay, so I'm using Bet365, which is my favorite online sports book. As you can see there, we've got a whole host of games coming up tonight uh, around Europe. And uh, I want to use the Premier League here. And of course, you've got the odds coming up for this weekend's action. Uh, but I want to look at the outright odds. And as you know, uh, as a as a football better, as a soccer better, there are so many markets that you can wager on uh, in the outright markets. And we're only going to look at the to win market right now, uh, but there are so many more markets. And just to give you an example, these are just some of the to win markets here on Bet365. Now, again, like I say, Bet365 is my favorite sports book to use online. Um, there are so many others, William Hill, Betway, uh Triple Eight Sports. There's so many more. So depending on you know your favorite sports book, I'm sure you will be able to find some great markets to wager on in the outright odds. But as you can see there, to win market, the Premier League we've got Man City at minus 500. They are the favorites to win the Premier League. They are in second place right now behind Arsenal, two points back, and uh, could really move into first place this weekend. And uh, don't be don't be shocked if they do uh, finish the weekend in first place. Arsenal are plus 700 uh, going into the weekend to win the title. They've had a little bit of a slip up in the last couple of weeks. Liverpool still hanging around there, even though they're in eighth place right now. Uh, Sportsbooks still have them at plus 3,300. Now, keep in mind, Liverpool made up 12 points at the midway point of the season last year to take that title race down to the final day against Manchester City. And then we've got Chelsea at plus 3,300, Tottenham at 5,000, and Man United at, 60, at plus 6,600. And to be honest, I mean, Newcastle are plus 10,000, and they are hanging around right now in the title race. But uh, really, right now, I think it's a two-horse race between Man City and Arsenal going into match number 14 in the Premier League. Okay, so let's talk, let's talk I should say, about these three games that uh, are coming up that I wanted to profile here in our video. Okay, so here's the Soccer Buddy Tool app on the Z Code System website. And if you are a subscriber to Z Code System, you will have access to this uh, great tool, which can very much benefit you in your sports betting investments. And I'm just going to scroll down because we're going to talk about the final game that is going to be played on uh, Saturday, which is going to come to us at uh, 7.45 UK time which should be around, I'm thinking, 3 or so, uh, 4 o'clock uh, on the east coast of the U.S., if I'm getting my times right. But as you can see there, we've got this game between Leeds United and Liverpool. Liverpool, the heavy favorites going into this game, although they are coming off of a Premier League loss to Nottingham Forest last week by a goal to nil. 
Leeds United are in terrible form. Uh, they've not won any of their last six games. Manager Jesse Marsh is potentially going to be sacked. Uh, he could be dismissed if Liverpool win this game. And in uh, in some of the, the work I've done today, uh, I've talked about how I think Marsh could be sacked uh, by the end of the weekend if Liverpool really, really stick it to Leeds uh, in this game. Now, keep in mind, last year when Leeds went to Anfield to play Liverpool, they lost 6 Nil. So Liverpool um, have a, a history, I guess you could say, in the last couple of seasons of putting up some big score lines against Leeds United. They won 6 0 last season uh, in this game at Anfield. And the season before that, it was a 4 3 win for Liverpool at Anfield. So um, I'm backing Liverpool to win this game, but I'm not backing that 1 0 score line. I think this could be a 3 0 win for Liverpool. Leeds do not defend well, they are out of form, they do not score a lot of goals. Uh, Liverpool should win this game to nil. They could do it by three goals. And if Darwin Nunez plays for Liverpool, there's a little bit of question marks around his fitness, a bit of a tight hamstring. Uh, they're, they're also managing his minutes right now. I think he can get a goal for Liverpool in this game. He's scored in his last two appearances for Liverpool, which one of those came in midweek against Ajax in the Champions League. All right, we're going to take a look at two more games, but we're going to have to move to Sunday to do that real quickly. So I'm just going to change our date here on the Soccer Buddy tool, and we're going to go to October 30th. And we've got West Ham taking on Manchester United and Nottingham Forest taking on Arsenal. Now let's talk about that Forest versus Arsenal game first because that is the uh, early game on Sunday. We've got Nottingham Forest, who, like I said before, are coming off of a win against Liverpool at home. They're going to Arsenal to play the Gunners, who are not in the best of form. Arsenal drawing 1-1 with Southampton last week, and then they fell 2-0 to PSV Eindhoven in the Europa League in midweek. So back-to-back -back games in all competitions without a win for Arsenal. Now keep in mind they are in first place, two points ahead of Manchester City going into this game. City play at midday on Saturday against Leicester City. They should win that game and Arsenal should kick off on Sunday behind Man City in the table. So there should be a lot of pressure on Arsenal going into this game against Nottingham Forest. And to be honest, Nottingham Forest don't really have anything to lose in this game. As you can see there, Forest are heavy underdogs going into this game. Now, Nottingham Forest have not won on the road this season. Um, they All of their wins have come at the city ground uh, at home. So I'm really, really not thinking Nottingham Forest can get a win in this game. Perhaps they can get a draw, but I'm actually backing Arsenal to pick up a win here. And I think that they could put some goals past Forest. Um, Arsenal really need to rebound. they got to get back in the groove, and I think they will with a win against Forest with over 2.5 goals being scored in this game. And if you're looking at a player to potentially get a goal for Arsenal, then Gabriel Jesus could be the man. He's got five goals this season in 11 games for Arsenal. He's on a bit of a drought right now, and if Arsenal are going to hang around and potentially win the Premier League this season, they really need Jesus to get back in uh, in the swing of things and back in form because he has struggled of late. The, there's been a lot of talk about how he has helped Arsenal become a, a potential title winning team this season. There's a lot of positive talk around Jesus, but he's he's uh, in a drought right now and uh, really showing that inconsistency that we saw previously at Man City when he used to play there. So uh, but again, I'm backing Arsenal to win this game. I like that 3-0 scoreline as they go uh, to play Nottingham Forest at home. Now we've got that final game of the weekend, which is a Sunday evening game. We've got Manchester United hosting West Ham at Old Trafford. Man United going to this game uh, having uh, won five of their last six games against West Ham. They're in good form at the moment. They are unbeaten in four straight Premier League games. They haven't lost since they were beaten 6-3 by Man City in the Manchester Derby. Um, I think that was back in September. Uh, but United, like I say before, unbeaten in the last four games going into this. West Ham blowing hot and cold, very inconsistent this season. They are struggling to score goals. Uh, even though they have some good attacking players in the team, they are struggling uh, to get gold right now. They did have a Europa Conference League game in the middle of the week on Thursday night. They picked up a win there, 1-0. And United also had a, a European game on Thursday night, a Europa Cup game. They, uh, excuse me, a Europa League game. They defeated uh, Sheriff Terrasport 3 0 and uh, you know, were in good form on the night in that game. I think this is going to be a tight game. Uh, in the most recent games between these two teams, they've been very tight. Uh, you know, not many goals in between, or sorry, not many goals uh, between them. Uh, I think this is going to be a game with under 2.5 goals 
And I do like Manchester United to win this game. West Ham do not often win at uh, at Old Trafford. Yes, West Ham did pick up a 1-0 victory at Old Trafford last season, but I don't see that happening this year. This isn't the same West Ham team. They were very good last season. I think a lot of teams uh, undervalued them or, or, or underrated them uh, before games, and I think West Ham were able to take advantage of that. But this season now, West Ham just not quite that team they were last year. I think Manchester United are going to pick up a win on Sunday. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us here on Z Code System. Of course, before you go, hit that thumbs up button, like the video, and also subscribe to the channel and hit that uh, notifications button so you get all of uh, the notifications about the videos we post here on the channel. And of course, read up on everything that we have there on the blog. And if you like watching videos, then obviously check out all the videos for the different sports picks we have here at Z Code System on YouTube. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I will see you next time here on Z Code System.